So, one of the problems that we tend to see with most amateur golfers is when the sequence to the downswing looks slightly out. And you'll know this because either it doesn't feel the golf swing doesn't feel correct or if you were to video your golf swing you would notice that instead of looking something like so where the hands are delivered ahead of the club head and your body has rotated out of the way you tend to look where the body might be a little bit more stuck and you look a little bit more sort of flicky and that's the one thing that we want to try and avoid the reason why this always happens in my experience is the start of the downswing and many golfers sort of rush the downswing and they don't get the sequence correct now what I want to do in this is just share a drill with you and it's a drill which will give you a really strong feedback on exactly what you want to be doing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place my hands together and then I'm going to just tuck my trail hand underneath my lead hand. So I am, I am now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be applying two different forces. So the first force is my, my left hand pushing downwards towards my stomach and the second one is my right hand pushing up towards the sky and basically if they both apply an equal force then stay static and obviously if my right hand applies a bigger force my lead arm and vice versa so what i'm now going to do is i'm going to take my backswing position i'm going to get my good rotation into the backswing and at this moment in time what should be happening is again that equal force so it's not a case of that my right hand is pushing greater than my left hand so to the point where my left arm might potentially bend but it's equally not the proportion where my lead arm would be pushing excessively downward so that i can't elevate it in the air and they're working if you like in unison but there are two forces that are acting upon each other now what should happen as we initiate the downswing is we need to start shifting our momentum and our body towards our lead side. Now the best way to visualize this is if you were to draw a vertical line on the outside of your lead ankle and imagine that's a wall, you want to be progressively rotating towards the wall, like so. Now, what will happen if I kind of just take my hands out of it for a second is you'll see the way that my pelvis starts to shift to the left, my upper body starts to shift to the left, and that moves my lead shoulder. And as my lead shoulder starts to move, that's going to move my arm. So if I re-establish this position here, and as I start my downswing position, what I can see, and certainly when you do this and what you can feel, is that my lead arm is coming down in the downswing, but it's not necessarily because of an excessive force of the left hand, it's because of the rotation of my body. So if I apply a really strong force and you can do this at home, apply a stronger force now with your right against your left and what you'll notice is the way that your left arm still comes down and the reason why your left arm is coming down is because of the rotation and because my body rotates it moves my shoulder so a great feeling that you're going to get from doing this drill is you're going to get a really strong sense of what it would be like to keep the left arm should we say closer to the chest than the start to the downswing and then once you get to that lead arm horizontal position like so then you can just let it catapult off your chest and that's a really good drill for golfers that i work with online that suffer in the backswing so if there's somebody who looks a little bit sort of bent this way they're not applying enough of a force both ways if they start pulling their arms with no rotation they're going to end up looking something like this and then they'll propel it off and it won't be in the correct sort of sequence so it's a great drill and i promise you what you can start to do is once you get a feeling for that then you'll have a really strong chance of reintroducing it when you next get the chance to hit some shots and you'll get that same sort of feeling where you'll swing back and then you'll start to get that sense of the rotation happening the lead arm almost more sort of lagging behind you and as long as you sequence that rotation and you keep moving through it's going to make a massive difference i promise you to that feeling of stop rushing the downswing and that sort of catapulting method hitting the golf ball see you guys again really soon